In example 5, solve a squared plus b squared, which is c squared for a. So you have a squared, this is a, this is b. Don't worry about this being a negative number, okay? These are just numbers to guide you, not to come out with a, an answer. So uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to isolate this term, so get rid of the b squared. It's added, so you subtract b squared from both sides, and then you take the square root of both sides. Later on, we'll say that a is really plus or minus the square root, but for right now, let's be happy with just the square root. Example 6. Solve a times rh plus br for r. So we have a variable here and here. Box in the variable. Uh, put in some numbers like uh, s is 9, a is 7, r is your unknown, h is 5, and b is 3. So first thing you do, you factor out r, you factor out r, then you divide by this constant right here, you divide by this constant, which is 7 times 5, 35 plus 3, 38. Keep it that way, that's like what you have over there. So you divide both sides by 38, you're just left with r. You divide both sides by a h plus b, so all this is just 1. You're left with 1 times r. So r is s over a h plus b. Example 7. Solve m, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Do the subscripts, bear, do the subscripts bother you? I know if I have x to the power 2, that's x times x, that's x squared. But as a subscript, 2 and 1 have no meaning, except to make the numbers distinguish between this x and that x. How many x's can you have? As many as you need. Can you have x sub 1000? Sure, why not? That's better than using up the 26 letters of our alphabet, lowercase, or 26 more for uppercase, you need more symbols, you go to the Greek alphabet, you need more symbols, you go to the Chinese alphabet, then you go to the Indian alphabet, and so on. Subscripts are so much easier. So, we want to solve for x sub 2. We want to solve for x sub 2. First step, multiply both sides by the denominator x sub 2 minus 3. x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Get rid of the denominators first. And then... Um, distribute, the x is freed, distribute mx sub 2 minus mx sub 1. You want to get rid of this constant, you add it to both sides. You want to get rid of this constant, you add it to both sides. And uh, you just have constants on one side, you could collect all this as one number. I leave it that way so that you can see the parallel. And uh, the last step, divide both sides by 9, divide both, step, both sides by m. So x sub 2 is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 plus m x sub 1 divided by m. Okay. There we go. Example 8, y is mx plus b. Solve for x. Box in the x. First step, subtract b from both sides. Subtract 5 from both sides. Next, divide both sides by m. Divide both sides by 7. You are left with x, which is y minus b over m. Example 9. You want to solve for t. 1 over a times t plus 1 over b times t. This is like t over a plus t over b, which is 1. I guess we want to get rid of the fraction, so multiply by the common denominator, AB, multiply by 7 times 9. That gives you 7t plus 9t, which is equal to 7 times 9. A, this is BT plus AT, and you can factor out the T, which is AB. So you can factor out the T, which is AB. And then divide by this number, which is 16. Keep it as 7 plus 9. Divide by this 16. Keep it as a plus b. So both sides, that's just t. That's what you wanted. t is a b over a plus b. 